Power of thought, as the title suggests, there is power in your thoughts. You probably have never thought of your thoughts as containing any kind of power but they do. Much of mental magic requires your understanding of the mental realm and how to increase the powers of your mind. Here I will discuss briefly the mental realm and begin your development of a more powerful mental body. When you die to the physical plane you move first to the astral realm. After reviewing your past life and lives, you then receive guidance as to what to do next. If you are of a higher vibration than that of the astral realm, then you may leave, or die to, the astral and go on to the mental realm. It is here in the mental realm that all ideas are first brought forth in created form. It is a world of thought and creation through thought. The great creations, inventions, social ideas, and art that are in the world today were originally created in this mind world and released into the physical world. Here, in the physical world, a receptive individual is able to tune into these thought patterns and create from them on the physical level. Thought creation is the work of the great beings who live upon this mental world. They create in thought great things that will enhance the physical world. This leads to your relationship with the mental world. There was some very significant information in that last paragraph that you can carry over into your world here in the physical, in regards to thought power. The beings who live in the mental realm first perceive the idea, then they picture the idea, and then they give the idea form and send it into the physical world. You do the very same thing all the time, but without very much effort or concentration. You often get an idea of something that you want, but that's usually where it all ends. You may think about it once in a while and hope you will get it, but only sporadically. If you look at the mental realm around you and examine its properties and how it works, then you will see why thoughts can have power. In this material world of Earth, if you want to create something you must use some physical means to do so. This means is usually by way of your hands. In the mental realm, your material, so to speak, that you create with is the ethereal mental energies. The tool with which you create with is your thought. By applying a strong, concentrated, and continuous thought directed at the mental energies, you can create a thought form. That is, your thoughts take on a form imbued with the qualities of your thoughts. If you continue to add more thought power to this form, it will eventually materialize into your material world. Whatever the thought is programmed to do, it will happen here on Earth. So, if you wanted a 40-foot yacht, then that is what would eventually come into your possession. If the thought was that of a specific healing for someone, then the thought would go forth and heal. Now, before you go and rush off and start wishing for this and that, let's look at a few more facts. You just can't sit down and start wishing. You do that all the time. There is a certain way that this must be done. Next, you must build up your powers of observation, concentration, memory, and visualization. The meditation that you have been doing, hopefully all along, is important too. In Topic 40, you will learn how to create through thought. It may seem that you are a long way from getting to Topic 40, but please don't jump the topics in between this one and 40. You will, first, have to develop those powers of the mind, through the exercises that follow shortly. The exercises must be practiced faithfully, and for as long as it takes to master them. Further, each topic that follows, up to number 40, will further enhance your mental abilities and prepare you for topic 40. Now, let's get exercise number 1 observation. There aren't too many who can at the end of the day recall what they did step by step. Yet, this is part of your observation training. In the evening, sit down and recall the day the best that you can. At first, this may not be as easy as it sounds. Then, take this one stage further, and at the end of the week, say on Saturday, again sit down and recall the entire week in as much detail as possible. Visualize, or picture, the people you met, things that you did, and things said. Another observation exercise you can do is to enter a room quickly and, for say 30 seconds, look around the room and then shut your eyes and recall as many objects as possible. You can do this in the outdoors, too. 
for example, while walking down the sidewalk, or in the park, observe what's around you and then stop and close your eyes and recall all the details of your surroundings that you have just passed. If you will study these examples, then perhaps you can go on to create more observation exercise for yourself. Exercise number 2 Concentration To begin with, do some mental arithmetic. On your mental blackboard, begin by adding a row of numbers. Write down the numbers on a sheet of paper and then close your eyes and see those numbers on your board. Then, add them mentally, and when you have the answer write it down and then do it on paper. Next, multiply some numbers and, also, do some division. At first, you will be able to use only simple numbers, but as your concentration develops, you will be able to do more and more complicated problems. Another concentration exercise you might use is to concentrate on not thinking. That's right. You are going to get very quiet in your magician's study, with the curtains drawn, and you are going to picture your mental blackboard and you are going to keep it blank. You are going to cease thinking of anything. Concentrate on doing this. It is not easy, for thoughts will do their best to creep in, but you must concentrate and not permit them to do so. Do this, for about 10 minutes to begin with, and then gradually lengthen the time per sitting. Exercise number 3 Memory. Begin by picking your favorite passage from a book or poet and selecting 5 or 6 lines from it. Then memorize them. Constantly create new memory games that will exercise your power of memory. Acquire a booklet that gives you some material to study, and provides you with a test that will see just how much you have been able to retain of the material. Make a list of 10 people places, or things and then recall them forward and backward. Gradually increase the number of items on your list. Exercise number 4 Visualization. A phrase that you might select to mean the same, as the word visualization is, to picture with the mind's eye. You are going to create an image of something in your mind. Begin this exercise by thinking of someone you know and then picturing what that person looks like. Get this image in your mind's eye so real, that it seems to be right there in front of you. An aid that you might use is to get a photograph of the person and then study it for a minute and then do your visualization. Next, you might try, while walking down the sidewalk and coming towards someone, to study their face carefully, and after they have passed you, recall their face in your mind's eye. Don't just use people as subjects. If you can think of objects, or animals, that will be great, too. But when you visualize these people, or whatever you choose, see them in clear detail and always in color. These are the four exercises that will set your feet definitely on the path of acquiring mastery over your mind. In all these exercises do them no more than about 15 minutes each. You should do them all, at least, once a day. You might want to separate them, doing some exercises during the day and others, when you are at home at night. Continue to practice these exercises for the rest of your sojourn here on Earth. Practice these with patience and determination and you will gain mental mastery. You will be on your way to being able to have great success with creative visualization. An important part of the mental realm involves the silent magician who you'll meet next. L.